Hello everyone and welcome to exam B. So in this video, we are going to talk about Parikshak and we are going to give you a demo on Parikshak on how to take inputs, how to compile the code, how to execute and the other features and some important points which you need to know before you are going to target SEBI phase 2. Okay, so as we all know that uh, previous year, there were only two candidates who actually qualified for the interview and the major problem with almost the can with all the candidates which were appearing for phase two was the pariksha. They were not to finding themselves proficient enough in pariksha so that they can code on it. Okay. So there were many problems. They were not able to take the inputs. Many times they were getting the runtime errors, many times even the compile time errors, and many times there was a network problem. So the network problem is not in our control, but yes, the other problems which are like how to take the inputs and how to compile and execute, these are under our control and we can take care of these things very easily. So what we need to do here, we need to well understand this particular pariksha and uh, keeping all these things in mind which I'm going to tell you in this video you can just excel that particular thing okay so first I'll explain what I'm going to do I'll be taking one question and I'll be just uh, solving that question on Pariksha platform I'll be taking the inputs I'll be giving the outputs on that particular thing and I will give you an idea how the Pariksha thing is actually going to work so all those candidates who are going to focus on SEBI they have to watch this video because this is the most unaddressed question in the room okay so first I'll tell you what question we are going to take for the day so the question is uh, the question on the uh, buying and selling of these stocks where you are having an array of size n where n is the number of days for which you are having the prices of the stock in the prior notion you will be having two sub problems for this particular question one is the calculation of the maximum profit and the second one is the finding all days on which you will be buying and selling the stock so that the uh, profit in between those days is maximum okay so what we are going to do here in the in this particular video we are going to solve the problem number one and i have already given the solution for both the problems in our previous video which is for coding series question number one two and three so you can just go and watch that particular videos so that you will get an idea uh, and there i have given the entire solution in c plus plus you just need to change the syntax and semantics and you will be able to do that in java and python as well so here what we are going to do i am going to solve the question number one and what you have to do you have to solve question number two uh, from uh, parikshak only the link will be there in the video and you have to just go to that particular platform and just type and just see how the demo is actually working so maximizing the profit the question here goes like you will be having the stock prices for n number of days and you have to maximize your profit without incurring any losses in between the buying and selling of the stocks so whenever you are going to have intermittent loss you just have to sell the particular stock on the prior day where you are having the maximum profit okay so this is the thing that you have to do in your activity of maximizing the profit so so now let's uh, see how we are going to do this thing in Parikshag. So I'll just show the code which we are going to have. So this is the particular platform uh, which is actually the Parikshag. You can see here the link is like parikshag.in slash demo.html. So if you type this particular link on your web browser, you will be having the same uh, particular web page which I am showing you currently. So here you can see these are the languages where you can select from so here it is Perl, java python c c plus plus php so the major concern for us is java python c and c plus plus so we are going to choose here c plus plus because i am going to write the code in c plus plus then you have to mandatorily give this file name you have to mention a file name here so that your file can actually compile and execute before uh, before like uh, compiling or executing it this is the must condition that you have to follow and this black console is the actual one where you are going to type your code so this is the id to you if you want to code in the full screen mode you can just click on the full screen mode and you can you will be redirected to something like this where you can easily see your code and navigate in between the functions which you have written okay so this is cdac parikshak and let's solve the question now so you can see here I have written the code in C++ and the code is same which I have discussed in the previous video so I am not going to explain this particular code that how the logic is actually going to work you have to watch the video which is previously on our YouTube channel to get more understanding on the concept. What we are going to understand here, we have to focus on how to take the input first. So you can see in our driver code I have written uh, enter the number of days for which you want the stock prices are available. Okay so first thing that we are going to take from the user is the end. That is the number of days because I don't know uh, up to which many days I know the stock prices. So I have to get that from the user. So this is the first input that I'm going to take from the user. And after that thing, depending upon the number of days, I'm going to create an array of that particular size. I'm creating that array. 
is done in this particular line where I'm just creating an array in a simple manner without using any other thing. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to make the user enter the num like prices for every day for that particular stock for n number of days. Okay, so I'm going to just enter the respective prices for the each day. This particular message will be given to the user and user is going to give their inputs. And I'm going to uh, just take that input in stock I, which is my array, which is holding the prices of the stock. Okay, after that thing, what I'm going to do, I'm going to print the maximum profit. And the maximum profit will be calculated by a separate method that is called as buy and sell. I will not go to the logic of buy and sell, but you know, whatever the buy and, going, buy and sell is going to return, it is of the type integer. So whatever the profit they are going to return, I'm just going to print that profit it in the C out where I'm going to call the buy and sell of the stock with three parameters the name of the stock that is the stock itself and uh, zero which is the starting index and the ending state which is n minus one okay so I'll just uh, 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 switch to the normal screen which is not the full screen now you can see we have these things so here provide your own test cases is the area we are actually going to provide your inputs okay so what I'm going to do here let's say for uh, the number of when you see this particular code what your code is going to start from main right so you see first input is enter the number of days so let's say I have five number of days for me okay let's say we have five number of days so I will enter five then in the next line I'm going to enter the prices for respective days so let's say the prices are like 345 and followed by let's say 456 then followed by 700 then followed by 200 let's say and then the 800 okay so these are let's say the prices of the stock for the five days what i'm going to do first i'll be compiling my code okay and while i'm compiling my code you can see here the output is uh, happening here and you can see the code is getting compiled successfully now i'm going to execute my code and you will see the output here only so you can see what it is giving to you it is giving to you the execution time you can see the code is getting executed in 0.0, .0 seconds so the time complexity is very less here the execution space is four kilobytes only it's also very less it's not that uh great in amount okay after that thing you can see this is the first uh, input which i have uh, taken from the user that is the enter the number of days for which the stock prices are available and when i when this particular thing is going to run this number five is going to be the input for this particular line that is with the c in after that thing enter the respective prices for each day will be the second one okay where i am going to enter the prices for the next five days here okay you can see these are the prices for the next five days 345 456 700 200 and 800 so these are my inputs okay once i have given my input you can see here the maximum profit which i have printed here in the c out statement of the max profit and i'm getting the output as 955 okay so now i will tell you how this particular entire program is working and i will just show you uh with the calculator here so that you can just calculate it okay so you can see on the day 345 i am having the next uh, day price as 456 and then 700 so the maximum is between the 700 and 345 so if you just subtract 700 minus 345 it is going to return you 355 okay remember this number 355 and then we are going to have this thing which is 800 minus 200 so it is clearly 600 okay so 355 plus 600 and how much it is it is 955 and you can see it is the exact thing that we are getting onto the console so you can just re-verify how the functioning is going to work you can just take any number of days which you want to use and this is the way how you're going to take the inputs whichever input you want to take you have to describe that in the particular manner and your output before the execution will take that thing and will just print your thing okay so this is the entire working of the parisha hope you understand many things about it then coming to the points that you need to take care in Padekshak is like avoid uh, writing comments because you are the only one who is going to write the thing. So avoid writing comments because it will be like taking execution space more. Okay. And execution time as well. So I have tried it. So try not to write uh, the uh, comments. Try to get them as less as possible. After that thing, what next thing you have to do is like try to avoid the extra spaces. So you can see the indentation here, which I have put in here is like only the normal thing is like I haven't take, uh, taken anything before the before the end. Like we do some kind of indentation, but I haven't done any kind of thing. 
that thing. So it also gives a uh, uh, compiler error when I'm trying to do that. So try not to have any extra spaces in your code. If there is any, just try, just delete that thing so that your code will work properly. Okay. These two things are the things that you need to take care before you are getting any errors. So most of the errors, if that is not logical, will get reduced if you don't have any syntax error and you avoid the, doing these two things. That is reducing, uh, that, that is adding the number of comments and reducing the spaces. Okay, so you have to make sure that you are doing these two things. So this was it for this particular video. We'll bring more such videos with the Pariksha. We'll solve the questions on Pariksha only so that you can get an idea how to provide your own test cases and how to see the output for your particular code. So till the time we bring the new videos. If you like this video, do hit the like button. If you are still an unsubscribed user, do subscribe so that you never miss an update from our side on CBIT specifically. And also, in the meantime, you have to practice a lot. Okay. So by the time we bring the next video, stay updated and keep practicing.